Okay, you either run good or you don't run. Right? <laughs> oh my. Alright, here's Vivian's chance. Sadly, neither of these players really have much to continue with, though. I don't think Berkey's calling a 3-bet with King Jack off out of position. No, he is. Berkey, Berkey, Berkey. And this Danger Jack, zone now yeah, for this, uh, he checks it at least. Vivian's going to go for value immediately. No doubt. And I don't know if you've been paying attention. Vivian's been pretty in line with her 3-betting. She hasn't really... Three bet nearly as much as the rest of the players, from what I've seen, as a bluff. And there's the call. But Berkey's certainly not calling pre-flop to fold when he flops top pair. 18% <laughs> equity. He needs a king or jack. There's an eight. It does nothing for him. Yeah, and it's a pretty safe card too. So if Vivian barrels, the no. problem is, look, there's seventeen thousand six hundred dollars in the pot. Like Matt Berkey has fourteen thousand three hundred behind. So she goes. She could have some flush draws here, right? Seven thousand. Yes, yeah, she, no, she's going all in. Yeah, uh -oh. he's yelling. Because the bet sizing just doesn't line up. Yeah, if you yeah. bet like, if you yeah, bet I'm, I'm pretty mind. small, like it's already so much of his stack is out there. You might as well just go for it all right now and get a jack to call you. Maybe get some like flush draw to call you or something. Whereas if he calls, he calls. Wow, and this is it right here. She says, yeah, we could go twice. Matt Berkey all in with his king jack. There's a seven. Berkey needs a jack or a king to chop this pot up. And he was running so good. And there's another seven. Not going to happen. Vivian taking down a big one here. Yeah, and this is the reason why you don't peeling call with three a three bet. bet out of position with king jack offsuit is just a bad idea because there's reverse implied odds. You know, with his stack size, what I mean by reverse implied odds is you can make your hand and then they still have a better hand than you and you, you get stacked. $24,000 profit basically for Vivian right there. And Berkey reloads immediately for way too many hours run? of my life. No you know? doubt. So like, if I'm on vacation, the last thing I want to do is go in a card room. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I'm generally the same way. I've never, I've always had a pretty varied life, but I did always take a lot of poker chips, like my first 10 or so years as a grinder. And I'd fly down to Texas and drive up to Windstar in Oklahoma and play the Windstar, I'd play in Florida, I'd, you know, kind of play all over, play in Missouri and Kansas games and stuff. So you can definitely get in good games if you're willing to travel. But, you know, of course, there's expenses and time and inconvenience to travel. But, uh, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, good poker opportunities in these uh, other states aside from California and Vegas, no doubt. But uh, it takes some work to get to it. <laughs> and here we have a three-bet pot and Berkey flopping top pair in a three-bet pot. Berkey with backdoor diamonds as well. <laughs> On the surface, looks like a fairly easy give up from Zhang, but let's see if Zhang sees some yeah, removal to tens and jacks and some yeah, over yeah. cards and some backdoor um, straight draws, sees the matrix and goes for it at a small I frequency. Myself. No doubt he's got that jack 10 9. You know, they got the PLO uh, runner runner straight and catch an eight or a queen for an open ender, so obviously you so might think his over cards are good as well. So. And then to get unexcluded. Not, Berkey's not super deep behind, so that's kind of makes it a little bit tougher of a call. But who's going to play it as a check raise? Interesting. Like, no, I don't so Shang does see the matrix in this hand. Okay, and then find the paper and let me go. Very interesting sizing too, almost a min raise too as well. So I mean, Berkey's not super deep stack, so he probably should be putting in a massive committing raise. But uh, very interesting. I think it's employed by the star. Yeah. Yeah, employed by the casino. There's a conflict of interest. I um. While I was excluded, I lost 400 grand. So it was like the worst exclusion ever. And that's going to be a card that if Chang continues, Berkey's going to have to mash his stack in, most likely. Now that he turns diamonds. Just about a stack to pot ratio, just about one pretty much. So not much for Berkey to do here. Although Berkey probably just comes along with the call. Oh, yeah, now that he's bet, you know, 6K into 20K, that uh, makes the options a little more open for sure. <laughs> Can I have two random cards? We do know Berkey likes ended. big bets. I mean, once again, big bet Berkey. What's not to, to like a big bet once in a while? He's just going to come along with the call. Biggest hand of the night so far unfolding. If this pot reaches over 40K, you guys might have another freebie for the Valley Play. Dot com slash LATB. He's going to use that ace as a bluff card. He's going to fire. He's going to put Berkey all in for his last 18K here. Wow. And once again, big bet Berkey facing just random acts of aggression from Zhang. There's those beautiful $1,000 <laughs> chips. 
he has his hand like he's gonna mock although this could be looking for some sort of live read i think Probably. because the other session he was talking about live reads and this and that maybe even lets his opponent see his card what do you guys think one call two fold let us know what's up now berkey bet 3k on the flop and jeng check raised to 7k 3k to 7k and the pot had 20k in it on the turn and Zheng bet 6k into 20k and now here we are on the river where Berkey had 17k left. Zheng puts them all in for this last 18k. It was about a little over half size of the pot. So, I mean, Zheng is telling a story he has 8-7, correct? He has a straight. Perhaps, check yeah. Check raise and open-ended. Or I mean, a set. He did a kind of milky check raise, you know, small on the flop. So I think Berkey's maybe thinking his hand centered around something on the flop, which is interesting because Berkey also has a 9. So that does kind of... Uh, mitigate some of the value hands that he could be repping on that flop with the check raise. But uh, it's going to be a very interesting hand, no doubt. Remember, Berkey Adam is granted five time chips. He's already used one. These time chips are worth a little something. Dan Zak, former owner, player of the year, said they're probably worth about three to five big blinds each in value. That's very interesting. So. Leave it to uh, Mr. Zach to uh, <laughs> can make some kind of calculation we, like we that. We had so many dumb conversations just hanging out about how much those time chips were <laughs> worth at random <laughs> moments, and we never pegged it. We said, I believe he said three to five or two to five, and we never pegged it down. So L let us know in the chat. Still ones and twos. Let us know what's up. Ooh. Berkey, live read. Oh, there let we go. go. Oh, he let it go. Oh, oh, no. oh. 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 Uh -oh. Yes. This is the best. It's a little harder to protect your hand, I will say that. But, uh, but Berkey really wants to sit down. <laughs> there it is. A war of attrition between two men with an <laughs> He really wants to sit down, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it is such a relief, man. When you win that pot and you get to, to, get to sit, Ooh, that's a good feeling. It's about as good as winning the first run out and to run it twice all in pot, I'd say. It's a, it's a good one. It's nice to not have to pay the table bounty at the end. <coughs> no set, no bet. No set, no bet. Some of the good strategy. Berkey in there with this 10-8 on ace high trying to sit down, but he <laughs> ran, ran into an ace, unfortunately, which picked up nut diamonds on the turn. Ethan's ace five of diamonds improved here with this nine of diamonds on the turn. Berkey also picked up a gutter, though, oh, yeah. seven to a straight. Oh. Oh. He's in there. We got like a 5K bet to call. Everybody up. just wants to sit. <laughs> <laughs> Queen on the river. No luck for Berkey. Let's see if he does a heroic suicide mission here and follows through on the river. Ethan's big hand bricked. He does still have a ace with low kicker. But uh, will that hold up to a massive bet by Berkey here? Let's see what happens. Ethan's going to check over to Berkey, who's holding 10 high here. He's been plowing through the hand. Ethan's been tagging along, calling. Checks to Berkey here. We got the stand-up game in action. $300 table bounty. Everybody, if you're the last person to sit, you owe everybody 300 bucks. That's about a 2K bounty. Safe to say that this game Huge bet here from Berkey. Oh, wow. All in, 25K. Coming to play. Big bet Berkey here. It's the very first hand of the stand-up game, and look what happens. Huge all-in bet here from Berkey. 25K right at you, Ethan. What you going to do? And yeah, he is going to call. You stand up and lose all your chips. <laughs> Huge hand there for a big call. I want diamonds. I want diamonds. Is that a good call?